Okay, cool. I'm going to talk about um, looping your code back to the beginning if you don't get the correct answer or um, if there's an error or anything like that. So there's two ways of doing it. Regardless of the way that you do it, you're going to have to ask a question right at the very end of the code. So that's de-dented from everything. And the question that you want to ask is, do you want to start again? I've called that restart. So restart equals input. Do you wish to start again? And then all we need to do here is if restart equals yes, we might just add a dot lower here. And then also an else. So if they don't say yes, if they say anything else, then all we need to do is exit the code. So we do that by writing exit, or you can do that by writing quit. Either one is fine. So how do we get all our code to loop if they say yes? It's quite simple. We put our code in a procedure itself. So we wrap it all up into procedure. <coughs> the way that I would do that is I would call this whole piece of code main. So define it as main. Yeah, and main is um, a kind of a common way of referring to your main bit of code, the main loop as it were. If we put a colon there, if we put a colon there, what it means is that we have to indent all of this. So I'm just going to scroll down and indent everything, yeah? So format, indent the region. So this is def main, and we say that if the restart is equal to yes, then we just run main. So all it says is that if they say they want to restart, go back to the top <coughs> and run this main code. When we run the code, nothing's going to happen because we haven't told it to do anything. Please, can all teaching staff make their way to the main hall? Parents evening will be starting in five minutes. Can okay. all teaching staff please make your way to the main hall? Parents evening will be starting in five minutes. Thank you. Nothing has happened yet because we haven't called main. In order to call main, we just press main, open bracket, close bracket, and then it runs the code. However, what I would do is rather than doing that, I would put that right at the bottom of your code. So this is where the code starts. You run main, and what that does is it runs all of this. When it gets to the bottom, it says, do you want to restart? If it says yes, then it reruns main all over again. So that's like the first way of doing it, yeah? There's a second way of doing it, which is using a while loop. I can also put that on the drive as a tutorial, but I would recommend using this um, because it's, it's quite a useful um, way of integrating procedure and getting your code to loop back around. Leeson, you've got a question? Um, yeah, why didn't you use in yes list? In yes list, good. So I wasn't sure if I had a yes list. I do. So if I've got a yes list, then I can put if restart in yes list, lowercase, that would work as well because I've defined what yes is, so I could run that as well. And what this does is if I run my code and um, I've picked one of those subjects, let's say I just press enter for everything, do you want to start again? Yes, it'll restart, yeah, because it's in the yes list. Magish, do you have a question? You're okay. All right, so that's how you would loop your code. So if you haven't yet done a loop, have a look at that. I'm going to put it in the tutorials folder as well. So if you have a look at R Drive Computing Tutorials, um, it will be in the programming folder. Okay.